Hey guys, so I just beat Iron Marines earlier today. And okay, this isn't too much of an accomplishment. I realize that. Bear with me for a second here. Because um, it's casual, but there was a few things that I had to do in order to keep making progress in the game. And I just wanted to share that with you real quick. So let's go ahead in here and go and start. And I'll tell you a few things that I think are small tips that'll maybe help you, you know, get a little bit further in the game. At least it helped me. So just sharing that with you. So you can see that I completed the second world, all the missions. I haven't completed the side missions yet, but um, I'll be honest, I got kind of bored. It just seems like it was the same thing over and over again. But anyway, so this one I did complete 100%. But um, anyway, so let's let's talk about what I did in order to do this. The first thing is ready is for that, action. Is that Taggins is trash? I really I wasn't I wasn't just he just wasn't doing it for me. Um, it just seemed like he wasn't putting out enough damage in a clinch. He just wasn't really you know performing. So I switched <clears> over to you know to, I'm ready, right? Yeah, you're ready. So I switched over to Kara. Uh, she's a you know a free free hero you don't have to spend money on it and it seemed like it was a much better fit for me um, I really liked you know her jury rig missiles I popped that talent I blast the enemies you know the immediate threat would seem to be you know taken care of and I was able to make more progress so her set of skills kind of work with my play style a little bit better you know other heroes may work for yours uh, I don't know. I haven't played with. I've only played with these two heroes. I haven't even tried with other heroes. So I'm saying, you know, after Tagins just wasn't doing it for me, I switched over to Kara, got her to level 12, good to go. So that was the first thing that I did. The second thing is, is I reskilled this a little bit. So at first I thought, yay, snipers! Snipers are awesome. Uh, snipers were were you know good and, until I got um, guardians. And uh, basically, guardians are like, I hate to say it, but they're basically Jedi Knights. And um, once I got those little guys, and uh, I realized how powerful they were, I just like reskilled all my points to level up the Daring Dash as fast as possible. Because they just pummel the heck out of everything in their way. If it, there was like some flying guys that it seemed like they couldn't reach or something. I'm not sure exactly what was going on there. But basically, almost everything at its path, it just destroyed. Like on the, the final boss, on the uh, first world, I dropped like three or four of these little guys, and they just like, they just bad, bad touchy on that final boss. I mean, he was gone in like 10 seconds. So Guardians, getting Guardians is strongly recommended. They are very damaging. They're awesome little guys. To beat the second boss, I used um, the channelers. So the channelers are very OP as well. I had like three or four channelers and they just put their little beams on the boss and just fried them out of them too. So uh, this this class of, of aliens, uh, what do they call them? Let's see here, hold on a second. Empyreans. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But the class of Empyreans is just totally OP. These guys just just pummel the heck out of the competition. And um, yeah, so get Empyreans, level those little guys up, and um, you should be good to go. The other thing I was gonna say is, um, you know, Aether Watts are definitely um, important. So, you know, make sure that your Aether Watt miner thingy will extract more Aether Watts faster and get you more power so that you can upgrade stuff and blah, blah, blah. But um, anyway, so I'm playing casual, and uh, it's kind of easy peasy now, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, so the way I did it was, you know, getting the Empyreans leveled up, uh, using Kara instead of Taggins, who was worthless. And yeah, so there was a few things. Hold on. So there was a few circumstances when I use um, some of these little things here. Uh, a couple of the the trials, you know, the side quests, I used um, the proximity thing. And that little guy is just wicked. So, I mean, if you're staying in one spot and enemies are coming to you, just drop one of those things and it's just going to burn the heck out of them. And then in the circumstance where I needed, like, another troop to help me, like, you know, bomb some stuff from afar, these little bombers, you know, they follow you around. They're pretty good. Uh, the replicated mines, 
were not quite as good as these proximity bombs. But I tell you, those little those little uh, mines, they just kept replicating and replicating. So they were definitely nuking some people there too. So I mean, I was quite happy with those. Um, this thing, I think I used it once incorrectly. And so I can't really say that it was, uh, oh, that, that great or that bad. I don't know. I used it, it, it lots of bombs happened, but I don't know how effective they were. I didn't use it on like a boss or anything like that. So, you know, maybe it's cool, maybe it's not. It's kind of expensive. Uh, but I know that these other things here, man, they, they really, they really did the job. So there's that. Um, you know, remember to come in here and, and get your rewards. You know, maybe you get some extra, uh, what do they call this? Some extra gear thingies. Uh, what's the name of it? Hold on. Tech points. You know, get extra tech points so that you can level this up faster. Tech points, good thing. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, that's just the basic tips for uh, beating Iron Marines. You know, it's casual gameplay, it's nothing nothing too involved. You spend, I think I spent like 99 cents or two dollars on it. Um, you know, I mean, it's just a cool, fun, you know, quick, quick time killer game. And, you know, in the future, if they, you know, release more, more planets, I can't, I can't go for the coming soon, but you can see it over there. So, I mean, they've got, you know, Sagan 1 and Ascendar. So, you know, assuming that they put more planets in the future, you know, it's just a cute, you know, a couple minutes to spend some time here and there, and yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm going to be making some more content. It's like Friday night, 3 a.m. I've got nothing better to do, uh, except for maybe sleeping, but I'm not tired. So, yeah, you know, I probably won't be playing this too much more. It's kind of, you know, it's not that exciting, uh, but I'm going to go through some of the games that you guys recommended on the list. And uh, tell you what I think of those. Uh, I went through a couple of them already, but I haven't made videos on them. So I'll be making videos and just kind of rambling a bit, you know, letting you guys know I'm alive, you know, and hey, just saying hi to everybody. All right, remember to hit subscribe and like if you like my videos. All right, thanks, bye bye.